The second one uh, here is actually probably a little more interesting um, in the fact that this is a pretty rare thing. So um, the patient was an 82 year old male who was very active. Uh, he was a farmer about a county and a half over here in Mississippi. Um, I mean, you know, washed his own car, still worked the land, still fed the cows every day. I mean, he was in the woods every day, chopping down trees and such. Came in uh, via EMS because he was just very short of breath. He was actually found to be in respiratory distress. His O2 sats were in the low 80s for them. They put him on a non-rebreather and really couldn't get his O2 sats up, but he, they did start him on CPAP, uh, which I actually got him up to about 84%. So as soon as he arrived to the emergency department, a uh, quick ultrasound was done that did not reveal a cardiac cause. Uh, chest x-ray was done that also just showed kind of a what we felt to be an early presentation of ARDS. It was pretty hazy, but it was certainly not a wide out. He was immediately started on BiPAP, which uh, improved his uh, respiratory distress remarkably. Uh, as the rest of the case unfolded, um, we found him to be in urosepsis as well as he had a UTI. Uh, and had blood pressures in the 90s, uh, and so we resuscitated him. Um, and I'll talk more about this later, but, you know, medicine really is a team sport. The medical tech uh, in the lab called me and said, you know, there's something weird in the blood cells on the smear. Would you come down and look? And I said, well, sure, I'm not a pathologist. I'm just an ER doc, but what the hell, I'll take a look. Uh, mm -hmm. And as you see there in the middle section, uh, we found intracellular parasites. Um, these correlated out to both uh, neutrophils and monocytes. Uh, and typically the two diseases that we have here, the two tick-borne diseases, uh, have a preference for it. So uh, anaplasma has a preference for the neutrophils and Ehrlichia has a pre uh, preference for the monocytes. So on the screen in front of you, if you're thinking of it as like a key on a uh, telephone, so five and eight are the monocytes, and the others are the neutrophils. Um, so obviously, uh, this gentleman uh, was found to have two pretty rare uh, tick-borne illnesses uh, at the same time. So we did a quick research, and we couldn't really ever find anything that had both Ehrlichia and Anaplasma at the same time. Uh, we found other things of like, you know, Borrelia and Ehrlichia together, but not Anaplasma. Uh, in terms of geographical locations, Mississippi is a very rare state to have anaplasma in. Uh, we talked to Dr. Jerome Goddard, who's the state entomologist, and he said, you know, yeah, Ehrlichia, I'm mean, sorry, uh, anaplasma technically is present in Mississippi, but it is very rare. Um, he did a tick survey one time, and I think out of 250 ticks, he only found one with anaplasma, so it's pretty rare in our state. Um, Overall, though, it's actually becoming more uh, diagnosed, I think, because actually more people know to look for it now. Um, if you look very bottom, uh, we do have the serology. The serology was a little bit of a mixed picture, though, especially for anaplasma. But according to uh, our emergency department literature, uh, antibody tests can be negative about 85% of the time in early presentations. Um, it was later confirmed with uh, PCR and um, obviously the pathology reports as above. So the gentleman was put into the ICU, uh, found four ticks on him. And obviously, like we said, we started the antibiosis of uh, Rocephin and um, doxycycline, which kind of covered both the UTI and what we thought could be an early pneumonia, especially now with the two tick borne illnesses and ARDS. Um, in terms of the actual patient, he recovered pretty rapidly uh, and ended up being able to go back and work on his farm and such in a, in a very short amount of time. But he did go home with a, a full two week course of doxy. But um, one the reason we picked this, honestly, uh, and the reason I like this case so much is not necessarily because it's rare, but because this shows you exactly what my boss, Dr. Carlton, has always said. Medicine is a team sport, and this really exonifies that because it was emergency medicine, it was the lab work, it was the nursing staff in the ICU, it was internal medicine, all working together to figure out what this gentleman had and getting him uh, back to where he could go back and do his farm and, and work like he normally wanted to. Awesome. Thanks also for a wonderful presentation. Uh -huh.